internationally important. It's what's known as a special area of conservation because we have over 30 rare plants growing here. There's things like um, a group of trees called the sorbus, which include the white beams, the rowans and the wild service tree. Uh, and there are four different kinds of white bean tree that just grow here and nowhere else in the rest of the world. Perhaps the most famous one is the Bristol white bean. We also have a number of other rare plants that grow as part of limestone grasslands, so a community of plants that grow together in the open. So things like the Bristol onion and the Bristol rockcress, both of which just grow here and nowhere else in the rest of the UK. We know from historical and archaeological records that for hundreds if not thousands of years sheep grazed the Avon Gorge and the Downs. In the mid-1800s the grazing began to decline with the collapse of the wool trade and by the 1920s all the sheep had gone. And without all those little mouths nibbling away, keeping the grasslands open, the bramble, the scrub and the ivy began to grow. On the Downs it was fine because we could keep that open by mowing, but in the gorge um, where it was too steep, trees and bramble grew over and shaded out the rare plants. So when the Avon Gorge and Downs Wildlife Project started in 1999, we were left with a situation where we had tiny pockets of these grassland plants left, and they were in great danger of the scrub growing over them, killing them off, uh, and then they'd be gone forever. Since 1999, the Avon Gorge and Downs Wildlife Project has been working hard to um, tackle some of the scrub here in the Avon Gorge. So where we have existing grassland, we've been removing the scrub by hand and we were doing that for a number of years and in some places in the gorge that works really, really well. But in this particular area of the gully, um, as soon as we cut down the plants, they began to grow back again and so we needed a more sustainable solution. The sustainable solution is to get back some grazing animals um, and so the Grazing Animal Project, which is a national project, came and looked at the gully here um, and they looked at how much grassland is here and decided that there wasn't enough to get sheep back here. They also looked at other animals, so they considered cows and horses, but the terrain is too steep. And what we have lots of is trees, bramble and ivy, so what we need is an animal that browses rather than grazes and goats absolutely fit the bill. They're perfect because um, particularly male goats like to strip the bark off trees and they particularly like to eat woody seedlings. Um, so they've just been here since June 2011 munching away all year round and they've made a fantastic job at uh, controlling that scrub and making space for those wildflowers. The goats came from a herd on the Great Orm which is a rocky peninsula next to Clandidno in North Wales. And um, we went up there, me and some of my colleagues went up there and took part in the yearly roundup. And after that, um, Conway County Council were happy enough to, to give away some goats to various um, local authorities who were trying to do animal grazing like this. Every day, one of the team, principally Ben, who's the, the key goat keeper, will walk the fence line um, to check that the fence is intact. We need to keep the goats in a fenced area because we have a very busy road at the bottom called the portway. On my way around, I tend to spot that all six of them are there and I can see whether they've, you know, like basically they haven't got any health issues that I can see visibly. I think it's really vital that people get to know that there's really rare plants growing here in the Avon Gorge and that the Avon Gorge and Downs Wildlife Project is looking after them. So we've been running Meet the Goat Keeper Walks, um, we've been running education sessions called Hairy Conservationists for School Children and we've also been getting play schemes to come along. Most people find it quite hard to get excited about plants but the, the goats are actually um, helping us tell the story of why these plants are special and how we're helping to protect them. I think the public are very interested to hear about uh, what we're doing here. It's, I think they're happy to hear that there are different ways that we're trying to carry out the management plan here other than just using big heavy machinery. As you look around you can see where they've been eating, evidence of them nibbling plants and um, visually you can see the amount of scrub is reduced. Everything that we want protected in here now is protected and they, they seem to have halted the march of that scrub pretty quickly. It is early days, we've only been here since June 2011, but you can already see a vast improvement. The goats are doing a fantastic job. <laughs>